Ooh, right guys, today we'll be looking at how you can decrypt very vast quantities of lootograms in Borderlands 3. So right here, I'm on Sanctuary, and if we have a look at my inventory, I've got nothing equipped. But in my backpack, we can see that it's just full of lootograms. Every spot, 40 out of 40, is a lootogram. I presume if you've clicked on this video, you know what a lootogram is. But the lootograms drop from Dinklebot, who can be found on Skyward 27. Skyward 27 is located on Promethea. A Dinklebot can spawn right here. So you've got the fast travel here. You just walk on through, and then Dinklebot can spawn here. He is a rare spawn, but if you do get him to spawn, then he has a guaranteed chance to drop the lootogram. So all you have to do is farm this a couple times until you get a lootogram to drop. So this method will be using the fact that you could duplicate saves in order to effectively duplicate an inventory and store it in the bank. So if we have a look in our, my bank right now, I have four weapons, but I also have 40 lootograms. So I only started with one, and then I just kept du duplicating my save in order to fill this to 40 so I could get the max amount on my character. And then I saved that character. Um, which is this one I'm on now with the 40 lootograms in it So all I have to do is when I spawn in run from there all the way to crazy Earl Decrypt them see what I get if I get any weapons run up and store them in my bank and then save and quit And then I just replace the save with the one that has another 40 lootograms and rinse and repeat I'll quickly show you how you can do this so right here We can see we've got 44 out of 260 in my bank and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my backpack And I'm just gonna store all the lootograms that I have so as you can see now, my backpack is 0 out of 40, and if we go to my bank, it's now 84 out of 260, so this is just full of lootograms. So now that that's done, in this case, you'll probably have one or two, and you'll be wanting to duplicate up to that 40 out of 40, but in this case, I'll just show you how to do it uh, with 40. So as you can see, 84 out of 260, what we're going to do is save and quit. Once you've hit the menu, this is PC, but you can do this on PS4 and Xbox, it's just a little different. On PC, you want to tab out of your game, and right here I've got my documents open. So this here is a folder that I have just with different saves that I save. If I get a good save, I'll copy it, or if I'm making a video for you guys, then I store them in here. But right here, this is the save with 40 lootograms on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to navigate to my save file for Borderlands 3. So if you're just on this PC, you want to go to Documents, My Games, Borderlands 3, Saved, Save Games. And now here, these are two different ones because someone else has played a different account on this computer. So this is their save file, but this is mine. I want to click on that. And as you can see, this top one here is the last modified one. And this is the save that we've just stored all of our 40 lootograms from our account into the bank. So if I take this one right here and I copy it. If I then go into here and then do control V or paste. It will give me an option to replace it because obviously we're overriding the one that we've just deposited our lithograms. You want to press yes and if you notice, if you take a look at the date mo modified and the position will change as well. Once you press replace at the file and the destination, 55 has now changed to 2107 on the previous day and it's also moved down. It matches this one so we've effectively moved this save over to here and replaced it with the one that was there. So now if we go back to our game. We click play, load character. You just want to select another character. So if you were actually to go straight back into the game, then the old one will overwrite the one that we've just duplicated in. So you just want to press another character just so when you press this new one, it will select the new file. Once you've selected that, you just want to press continue. And then first of all, I'll show you if we head over to our bank, we should see that it's on 84 out of 260. So yep, the lootograms that we deposited are still here. And then if I was to go over to my inventory we see that it's 40 out of 40 and we still have these 40 lootograms like i said you'll probably have one and you want to use this method so you want to duplicate a save with a lootogram on and then go onto that save and deposit that lootogram and then replace that save so it now has another lootogram keep doing that until you have 40 and then you have a backpack absolutely full as many lootograms as you can carry and then all you need to do is when you spawn in run all the way to crazy earl And then all you have to do is press Q, see if anything drops. So out of the 40, I was unlucky and I didn't get any. But then all you have to do is go quit to main menu, go back to your save files. So this is the one with the 40 loot grams on. We're going to copy it, paste it in, replace, go to Borderlands 3. 
play, load character, just select a character just to refresh the new save. Press the one that we're using, which is this one. Press continue. And then if we go into our inventory, we'll see that we'll have the 40 lutograms once again. So all you have to do then is, again, just run over to Crazy Earl, press Q, see if you get anything to drop, and yeah. On PC, you can whack this out once every minute, I'd say, if you're really focused on just doing this. But this method is definitely a lot quicker in order to farm some of the bosses that you need to to get the weapons that drop from Crazy Earl. So for example, I made a video recently with the Lucian's Cool and the Lucian's Cool drops from Blue Fire, but there's a lot of bugs surrounding that at the minute. So this method is definitely a much quicker way in order to get the Lucian's Cool. If we head up to my bank, we'll see I've only done this about 10 times and I've already had two Lucian's Cools. So it pays to do this over going through the entirety of the Slaughter Star 3000 and then farming Blue Fire. Also other weapons like the Butcher, there's quite a few. Most of the weapons that you can get from Crazy Earl through the Lutograms have um, some finicky bosses to get them to drop. So they're usually at the end of some of the arenas. One last thing for you PC users, if you don't want to go through the hassle of getting this buffer of 40 lutograms on a character, there is a save in the description below if you just want to hop straight into it. All you'll have to do is download the save, make sure you keep a copy of it somewhere other than your save files, and then just hop into the game and start doing it. But other than that, that's it for the video guys, I hope you found this useful. Make sure to subscribe for future Borderlands 3 guides on my channel, and yeah, see you in the next video.